Today, we're learning how to shoot on the run. What's going on, little dap? It's Jared Muntz, former pro and founder of Online Soccer Academy. Before you learn how to shoot on the run, I highly suggest you know how to shoot from a standstill. Shooting from a standstill is the first step in the ladder of to being able to shoot on the run. Watch our OSA shooting videos here. Now, the more advanced key points of shooting on the run. Key points, key point one. Place your plant foot next to the ball. For perfect technique, when you take your shot from a standstill, your plant foot is next to the ball. The issue many players have when shooting on the run is their plant foot is either behind the ball or in front of it. Typically, it's behind the ball. Imagine trying to hit a golf ball. You want to hit the ball when it is right in front of your feet. You do not want the ball in front of you or behind you. That would be an awkward looking swing and it wouldn't be as powerful or accurate. Key point two, timing. Time your step to the ball. You wanna have a big backswing. So if you take your step to the ball when the ball is too close to you, you won't get enough of a backswing. If you take your step to the ball when it's too far away from you, then you will be off balance and your technique and your swing will suffer. When the ball is rolling more, it's difficult to have good timing versus when the ball is at a standstill. The secret to this is lots of reps and starting slow, not fast when shooting on the run. Key point three, have a second of calmness. When possible, have a second of calmness before you shoot. Great pros tend to lock in before they start running forward to shoot. So don't just rush up and shoot. Take a second to be calm, and lock in before you start your run up. Yes, in a game, defenders are putting pressure on you. But if you look real close, some of the best goals, the shooter slows down prior to running up fast to shoot. Key point four, keep your eye on the ball. Before you start moving to the ball, look up and take a mental picture of the goal. Then focus your eyes 100% on the ball as you run up. You are learning to shoot on the run. Don't look up as you're running to the ball. Keep your eyes on the ball. An exercise to practice on your own. You will need three cones, a few balls, and a goal. If you don't have a goal, then use a fence or a wall. Be creative, but don't break any of your parents' windows. Lay out your three cones like so, and start off without the ball. Measure your normal steps to the ball distance from the second cone to the third cone. Then, lightly jog up to the second cone, and when you get there, Step to get your plant foot to land next to the third cone and take an imaginary swing of the ball. Once you do this a few reps and feel comfortable, remove the second cone and get the ball out. Make a soft pass to the cone, then light jog up and shoot on the run. Your focus is timing and landing your plant foot next to the ball. Don't worry about shooting for the corners or the upper 90s. Focus on shooting low, hard, and straight with power. When comfortable, pass the ball harder and run up faster. This challenges your timing. After a few reps, shoot from dribbling. The key is taking that last touch before you strike the ball just a little farther out so you can take a big step to the ball. Don't have the ball right under you when you try to take a step to shoot. Do a few reps of each style and do this for 10 to 15 minutes total. If you have access to a camera, maybe one on your phone, I suggest having someone film you from a side angle. After they video a few of your shots, go back and watch the footage. Look to see where your plant foot is. If it's next to the ball, congrats. If it's behind your plant foot or in front, then you know your timing is off and you need to make an adjustment. No big deal. Bonus exercise. If you have a partner handy, have them roll the ball out to your dominant foot from the side of the goal. You then run up and shoot the ball as it's rolling to you. This will be more challenging on your timing as the ball is coming towards you, not going away from you. Do a few reps, rest, and then repeat. Second bonus exercise. Have your partner roll the ball from the side as you run up to shoot it. This will challenge your timing as well. What's wrong? The most common error I see with players shooting on the run is their plant foot is behind the ball. Start slow, be patient and get your timing right before you start trying to shoot on the run at full speed. Bonus tip, enjoy the process of improving. You are not perfect. I'm not perfect. Pros aren't perfect. It takes hard work and practice to get better. Don't be upset when you can't shoot as hard as your best friend. Use that feeling to fuel your fire to improve. We all have to start somewhere. So enjoy the process. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy video. Click here to watch our incredibly helpful 200 plus free videos. Go here if you want to believe in it shirt and go here if you're a coach. 
and want to host an OSA soccer camp. My name is Jared Munts, and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!